Australia's kept the gap one of the fastest in the uh, world this year. I haven't got much hair actually, so they're just taking a bit of a Mickey up me in the commentary box here. But having said that, 3.30, 7.7 for Kip Legat. Let's go through them. Mustawi, sixth at the World Championship, semi-final at the Olympics. He goes in one. There's the lineup. Obviously, the big ones to watch out for are the, uh, are the uh, Kenyan Silas Kip Legat and his teammate there, Kip Rock of Kenya. Don't forget Nick Willis, the world champion, also in this as well. But those two real Kenyans. Without the help, really, of Komen, who uh, used to pace him in the, in the heats and the semi-finals, could be uh, the ones to watch. Anyway, let's go through the field. Mustawi, as I said, sixth at the World Championships. Semi-finals at the Olympics last time around. On his outside, Matthew Centrovitz of America. We're just going to come to him in a minute when the cameraman's finished here. There he is, the young American. US and national collegiate champion for the United States, the uh, American champion. 11th in Paris, but 10th in Monte Carlo. So coming back into form though, he's made this final. Betty Barlow, who fell in the heat, was reinstated in the semi-final, and in the semi-final looks very impressive indeed, the two times European champion. And he's outside the only Ethiopian to make this final. Mekinen Gebri Medin, fourth in the World Indoor Championships, third in Oslo, 12th in Paris. Very young, a little bit inexperienced, but very fast with 3.31 PB. Only an out of uh, Ireland with the, the mullet there. I was going to say haircut seems to be the thing here at the moment. Well, he's uh, made a great final here. What an improvement. 3.48 to 3.34 this year. Igadir of Morocco. One of the two Moroccans in this race. Second in the world indoors, fifth at the Olympics. Then we come to the big favourite, I suppose, or one of them anyway, the Commonwealth champion. Only started running in 2008, would you believe? He's the Kenyan champion, fastest in the world this year. Silas Kiplagat, the very fast Spaniard. Manuel Olmedo of Spain. Runs about 144, 3,800 metres. So it's a slow race, watch out for him. On his outside, just qualifying for this final, Nick Willis, the uh, second in the Olympics and the Commonwealth champion, struggled. He's the slowest of the qualified to get in, but don't underestimate him if it's a tactical race. The tall, the very able Asbel Kitrock, the Olympic champion, semi finalist at the uh, World Championships last time round in the 800 metres. First in Oslo, second in Paris, second in Monte Carlo. Just on his outside, Villeneuve, Central American champion from Venezuela. I'm not sure where that is, I think that's a flag on his arm, but uh, on the outside there, Turak Bukenza of Algeria, fifth at the World Championships back in 2007, semi-finalist at the Olympics. This is a real tough field, not much to choose between any of these athletes, it will decide on what sort of pace it goes at. If they leave it to the last lap, then you can perm anyone out of 12. Done as God. Brigadier moving through, Centrovic on the inside there. Now Leonard the, with the green vest just tucking in nicely. Nick Willis coming round now from New Zealand to take up the pace. But Nick, as I said before, didn't have a great run in the semi finals, a bit slow. And he got through as one of the fastest, or the slowest of the fastest qualifiers. So maybe he's just edging himself in front here, keeping out of trouble. Centrovitz of America just behind him. Igadir just behind him. Then the two dangers, Kip Legat and Kip Rock. Well, these two have had a battle in the Kenya Championships. They were wagging each fin a finger at each other as they came down the straight, saying, I'm the best, and the other one not in here saying, no, you're not. So let's wait and see. You know, you were saying earlier on, Steve, that if this was a slow race, Almeida, the Spaniard, could come through. He's back in about, what, eighth, ninth place at the moment. And it's not particularly quick. No, it's not quick at all. Nick Willis has not taken him through very fast. About 60 seconds, I think, as they go through. Look at that, oh, just 60 seconds on the dot. So this is almost four-minute mile pace. And these men can run that in their sleep. Well, Nick Willis is there. Centrovich is there. Just behind him, Igadir. Kiprop coming up. That's good. Usually he lingers at the back of the field. But this time he's uh, moving himself forward. His teammate, Kip Legat, is finding himself boxed in now as uh, Gebri Medem comes through from Ethiopia. It doesn't Kip Legat look so easy, sitting back there in fifth place, the taller of the two Kenyans, Aspel Kiprop, just striding alongside Igadir. But it's still Nick Willis leading. When they come around this time, it'll be 800 metres to go. 
And Centrovic, the American, still in second place. No change in the order. Well, this is slow. This is now an 800 meter race. We're boiling down now to pace, not endurance. Willis is taking them through very casually. Centrovic is there. Kip Rob has just moved up into third. Gebri Mediam has moved up into fourth on the shoulder of Igor Deer. So they go through. It's even slower that lap. 62 almost. Someone's patience has got a snap. Kip Legat is coming round. Gebri Mediam is there. Looking at each other, sizing each other up. Kip Rock is staying out of danger. A bit of pushing and shoving. Kip Rock goes to the lead. Going ahead of Nick Willis is finding himself now. Boxed with two, a 600 to go and almost tripping at that point. Gebri Medem is coming around the outside. Kip Rock on the inside. Kip Legat, the other big danger from Kenya, out in lane two at the moment. They're all queuing up at the moment. The tall man, Kip Rock, leads from Gebri Medem. Then the so experienced Silas Kip Legat. And this is going to be a tremendous last 400 metres. Well, here they go, wind it up, the gun should go. Kip Rock is holding them at bay. Gebri Medem is there, Kip Legat is coming in. Will is stuck on the inside, here goes the push from Kip Legat down the back straight. He's striding out. Kenya at the moment, Gebri Medem is going with him, so too is Kip Legat. Pushing it hard, Kip Rock trying to come through on the inside. Well, is he going to be let? He is. Well, he's coming hard. Kip Rock now from Kip Legat. Gebri Medem's on his shoulder. Igadir is in there as well in the mix. At the moment, it's Kip Rock pushing hard, those long legs stretching out. Kip Rock is holding Kip Legat, but Kip Legat is coming again. Kip Rock charging hard. Igadir on the inside. It looks like Kip Rock at the moment. Central, which is coming fast for third place, but it's going to be Kip Rock taking it. Kenya one and two. Kip Rock, Kip Legat, Central Rich gets the bronze. Well, the big man eventually comes home and takes the title. What a run. He controlled it from 400 metres out. The official time, 3.35. Well, they must have come home pretty strong in that last lap. Well, when you consider the slow pace over the first, what, 600 metres or so, and the fact that Matthew Centrovich finished so, so quickly, only just outside his lifetime best, but as Bell Kiprop makes it gold medal number six in these championships for Kenya, and they have, of course, all come in the distance event. Silas Kiplegat must have fancied his chances. Well, he's shaking his head. Yeah, well, it's a reversal of the Kenyan Championships where he was shaking his finger at uh, Kip Rock, saying, I'm the best. And Matthew Centrovic there. Well, it's no disgrace to be beaten by two Kenyans in a World Championship final. Well, that's a gold and silver for the, for the Americans at the 1500 metres, Peter. Fantastic run there. I think Centrovic, a huge um, surprise, really, to have got a silver medal. The two Kenyans, perhaps in the uh, order which we didn't expect, but the last lap, Steve, you were asking about that, 51.5, last 200 metres, 26 seconds, so the yeah. penalty one even quicker than the last. Yeah, that was the damage, really, wasn't it? Look at the long striding Kip Rock here. Kip Legat just couldn't get it. Two metres all the way down the home straight. Centrovic coming harder than anybody else to take the bronze, passing Igadur in the last 20 metres or so. Beautiful, beautiful running from the Kenyans yet again. Uh, they're coming away from his championships with a whole bag of golds. There it is, Aspel Kiprop. Winning time, 3.35.69. Silas Kiplagat just behind him, 3.35.92. And the fast-finishing Matthew Centrovich from the United States, 3.36.08.